Hey guys, welcome back to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. We're going to be heading down to the uh, Forbidden Underground Waterway. So let's start by heading up to the portal room. Uh, actually, I've got the, um, the spare weapon here for the quest. So I'll go over here and uh, hand this in. I've finished the harvest. Uh, we've got a harvest here as well, 10 corn, here which is plants. great. Uh, let's go and plant some rice. Can you plant this? And uh, let's give her the, you, uh, the little, little axe. Can't remember what it's called. The Ravu Bata or something. Rava Buro. Uh, that's what the you one she wants. This is and uh, she's given us the toy this shoes. The we'll try those out right. in a second. Let's see what else she wants. Uh, in memory of Nora, which Thank was... You. Uh, I think it was the, uh, the fire ring. Um, I think I could actually make that now. Uh, let's try out these shoes. Um, toy shoes. Okay, attack of 17. And then make a little squeaky noise as you run along. <laughs> okay, Are you brilliant. What are we transmuting? Uh, this trying now? to eat properly. Let's craft the... Uh, what was it? It was the ring, wasn't it? Ah, uh, the flame ring. I'll go with this. Um, I think that gives uh, plus 10 defense to fire. Okay, let's run back quickly. <laughs> These shoes are hilarious. Uh, okay, we've got the flame ring. Should be down here somewhere. Here's what you asked for. This is it. <laughs> uh, we can get the eye for us. This is the keeps. Right. Um, she wants the tea dress. Thank you. I think I might have seen one of those around somewhere. Do I have a tea dress? Country dress? No. Okay, I'll look for that later. Uh, for now, let's head up to the portal and head over to the underground waterway. I do want to see how much damage these shoes do. Um, actually, I need to check, take off my glasses, don't I? Uh, the gauge glasses, let's put the dance mask back on, or... Increases critical hits. I think that would be pretty good, so let's go with the... Uh, assassin's ring. It's 46 damage is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so we want to head over here. And uh, we'll be using our special ability to uh, clear the, uh, the pool of blood. Wow, I'm just destroying these things. The, uh, the toy shoes. <laughs> um, that noise is going to get annoying after a little while, but that's okay. Um, heading out this direction. Okay, let's change the shoes back to... Uh, let's go with the... Um, this one is my, kind of my favorite at the moment, and using the conjure for the uh, blood steel. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, beautiful. So that should clear the path um, down to the uh, the waterway down here. Um, I'm going to be looking at the map quite a bit just to make sure I'm not missing anything. It's quite a large area. So we'll be at close to 60% 60, 60 explored uh, by the end of this. I think 58% or something like that. Fairly close to 60% anyway. Um, okay. Oh, this guy's tough, isn't he? 
a lot more health than the other ones. Um, and I'm not using the right shard here. I was expecting the Inferno Breath. Let's head over here first of all. No, I don't think I can get too far in this direction. Uh, yeah, there is water over here, um, and can't swim at the moment. Let's just grab this chest though. Uh, so that's pretty much as far as I can go in this direction for now. This fish. Uh, yeah, the extra criticals with the assassin's ring should really help. Uh, you know what? I might um, change this to the uh, the welcome company. This helps to, to bounce back some of these enemies. Okay, the penetrate ability with the uh, couple weapons there. Uh, just over here, we should have the uh, save room. Uh, save the game here. Just get my health and uh, mana back. There's flying frogs and um, this eyeball, which I think it can stone you. Now uh, let's see what the shard is. Detective Zion makes us the walls visible. Yeah, it can stone you just like that. Uh, quick look at the map here, see where we are. Okay, I don't think I can head too far in this direction, but I'll go as far as I can. Magic upgrade here in the secret wall. So like that. the rest of that because I can't swim at the moment so I'll head across to the right uh, instead. Um, I do want to kill this creature here and uh, this this creature is the one that's going to give us the shard. Uh, we also have a quest to kill it. Um, I think there might be another one on the other screen to do. Right, let's go and have a look. No, there's not. Alright, I'll keep killing this one here until we get the shard, and that will give us the ability to be able to swim. Okay. Might have to do this a few times. There we go. We've got it. Beautiful. I might just kill a few more of them to get the, uh, the eight 
that we need to kill. Uh, so that gives us the Aqua Stream, which is a pretty good weapon just by itself, but if you are underwater, it does allow you to swim. Uh, so let's go and use... Now, it's actually a directional. Let's do it just like that. Wouldn't mind getting a few more of those shards. Just so we can uh, power this up a little bit. Uh, the horses give you a shard which increases swim speed, which is pretty good. I do want to use that one as well. Um, and I believe it also heals you underwater. So let's take a look at that one. It's a passive shard amphibian speed. Yeah, rank. Uh, gradually recover HP underwater. So let's definitely use that. Let's have a look around here. So we'll get a few more of those shards. So we need the deflector ray, but I can't use that at the moment until we get another ability. Now we can't open chests underwater and we can't uh, use the deflector ray. Okay, let's have a look around and help. Oh. Stay away from this horse. Do you want the shard if I can get it? Okay, so just over here we've got the portal room. I am going to uh, head up and uh, quickly save the game. Probably the Hall of Termination is the best place to go. I can just quickly drop down and uh, save the game in the room below. Um, yeah, so this, this shard works pretty well outside of water as well. Hitting. There's nothing. What was I? Let's do that again. That was a little bit weird. Uh, that creature had been killed, but I was still taking damage from it for some reason. Okay, I'm just going to duck under it this time, and uh, we'll head back down here. So now we need to head back up and then over to the, uh, the east. Hoping for another shard there, but I uh, didn't get it. Okay, I think I'm still heading up.
That knockback is pretty nasty. Okay, might as well head up and uh, just grab the, uh, the save here. Just trying to avoid eating food or using the potions because they are so expensive. Probably these frogs don't seem to, uh, to poison you, which is good. Uh, so just dropping down, heading to the, uh, the east, it's in the bats here. Stand on this. Oh, there we go. So just a little room here uh, with a couple of chests, fried fish, uh, rose ring, and uh, there is a secret up here which uh, I can't grab yet. Uh, is it? Just a little bit over to the east. Keep heading in this direction. Um, it looks like I could. You could almost use the uh, deflector ray to get over there, but I haven't. Oh, it's so, it's so close. Let me just try again. It's just so close. Oh, I just can't quite get up there though. With the uh, can't quite get a good enough double jump. Come on, come on. No, nope. okay. No, I'm not going to bother with it. We'll figure that out uh, later. Now let's just carry on. Oh, this thing's still alive. And then we've got the shovel knives here. So, <laughs> looks exactly like the Shovel Knights in, uh, in the game as well. Uh, we can get their, their shovel. Looks like they drop sapphires as well. They will uh, shovel dirt at you if you give them enough time. Summon Water Leaper. Okay, something I'll try out a little bit later. I'll grab all the magic I can. Here we go, let's continue on. Lots of bats. Uh, quick look at the map here and uh, just see where I need to go. I believe there's a another save room here, so let's head over here and uh, save the game again. Um, now we've got a, a few different options down to the, uh, the east or up northeast. I might go up northeast first of all, just clear out that area. Secret? Yeah, there is a secret here. Oh! 
Okay, reflect ray through here. Yeah. Uh, we are going to get to a dead end. Uh, well, not a dead end, but a place where we can't climb up. Um, so I do just want to fill out the map. And then I can come back and explore the areas that I haven't explored uh, previously. But uh, we've got the lever here to open this door so that uh, we can come back uh, into this area from, uh, from another direction. Go up first of all. Arrive, my cloak and my shadow. Let's go that. Uh, red chest here with 500 gold. Uh, a few exits. Um, are there any secrets in this room? I don't think so. I'm just trying to figure out where I am. Yeah, there's a couple of rooms up here. And so we've got the uh, health max up, which is great. Grab as many of those as I can. Let's head on down and take the other arm up. There is a secret here, I think. Yeah, there is. Okay. Uh, voice changer. Uh, Master devised by a playful inventor. It distorts the wearer's voice. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to ride this along and see where I am on the map. This will take us back up to uh, another entrance. Uh, back up to a door I couldn't open earlier uh, inside the entrance, but we can open it from this side. over here to the west. Uh, we've got the change of uh, area screen. Um, then over here we've got the, uh, the HP upgrade, uh, which is nice. 790 now. Let's take out that creature and uh, pull the lever to open the door back to the entrance uh, so we can get back there fairly easy, uh, easily from, uh, from this direction. Okay, so I want to head back into the, uh, the waterway and we'll be making our way down to the hidden desert. I think that's most of um, yeah, most of the area. There's still a fair bit to explore uh, on the way down to the hidden desert. everything over here. I think it can uh, go down a little bit. There's a chest down there. Let's see if I can get to it.
Okay, quick look at the map and um Okay, yeah, there are a couple of uh, secret rooms, I think. There's one over here. Am I looking at the right location? No, I'm looking at the wrong location. Okay, so I do want to explore the one up above uh, first. To drop down from above to get uh, to get there. Arise, myself and my shadow. Uh, which I can't get to at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, do that later. Um, yeah, let's have a look and see how far I can get up with the. Uh, reflector ray. Yeah, it's not something I can get to at the moment, so we are going to carry on. I'll keep using the aqua stream here. Heading over to the east, first of all. And we've got the green chest with the uh, steel equipment recipe. Uh, there is a save room just down below and to the, uh, to the west. Getting quite a few shards here, which is good. Said this is a pretty large area, so still quite a bit, uh, quite a bit to go before we get to the uh, hidden desert. Um, let's check out the bookshelf. Sanzet Suzanne, and then over here to the west, we have another save room. Okay, dropping down, we'll head to the, um, uh, the east first of all. Just take the upper path. I'll just ignore these frogs. And over here we have the waterfall. This is where we can uh, drop down from another area. Breakable wall here with a secret room. Uh, with a critical ring, I think that might be better than the uh, the assassin's ring. Uh, let's have a look. This one does um, slightly increases damage and frequency of critical hits. Uh, this one increases the likelihood of critical hits. It doesn't exactly say how much. I will use the critical ring, so I think it. Uh, I think it is better than the assassins, although I'm not 100% uh, sure. Um, I think we can get up a little way, but I'm not sure if there's anything else up here. I can't remember, so let's just have a quick look. Uh, we will drop down from uh, from a different area later on, but yeah, I think I think that's it. There's another chest over here. Let's see if I can reach. Okay, I can reach this chest. Nice for the ruby and the emerald. Um, the rest of this cavern we'll explore now some other time. So I'm going to head back here and... Oh, let's change that shard over. And 
explore these uh, underwater areas as well. So we'll do it now. Uh, there's a few chests which I can't, uh, won't be able to open for a little while. Okay, so this should connect up with some of the other areas that we've explored. Kill these uh, creatures, the Decima, to try to get the, uh, the shards from them. It's a little bit awkward uh, attacking them like this, though. Yeah, so this heads over to uh, this cavern which we've already been in. Let's just drop down, make sure I've explored everything here. Um, I will go to the save room just in case things go badly for me. The words of wisdom shard. Quick save game, so map completion 56.5%. Some bats here. Okay, so heading back here and we'll exploring this underwater area now. See if, I can get, see if I can get an upgrade. No, no shards. Oh, that's unfortunate. So we'll grab the, uh, the pickups though, grab the loot. And we're taking this underwater exit here to the east. down. Um, okay, this is a, a tricky, oh, tricky area. I may need to, oops. Let me get rid of this horse first of all. These spikes can do a lot of damage. Um, something like a hundred odd damage. It's quite awkward to uh, to navigate through. Okay, there we go. There's one set of spikes. Nope. 18 damage there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It is nasty getting through here. Uh, let's have the uni rice bowl. Does that not improve anything? Oh, max HP and uh, intelligence plus two is good. Nice. Fried fish improves intelligence by two. Uh, let's eat one of those now just so I get that intelligence uh, boost. Oh my god. Damage boost through. Okay. There's... To this chest, I think I might be able to just very carefully. Oh, no, it's all underwater. Okay, I can't do that now. Uh, we do have a magic upgrade though. Definitely want that. Okay, 
there, there is a red chest up here. I do want to, want to remember that this is actually a red chest, so let me place a little marker here. So we'll come back to that later. I'm not too worried about the blue chest. Oh, there's a green chest there as well. Um, and what color is this one? Oh, that's a blue one. The blue ones are just basic resources. But the red ones and the green ones have uh, different items inside, so I do want to come back to those at least. Uh, continuing on down here. Ooh, okay, we've made it. So we've finished off with the Forbidden Underground Waterway for now. There's a little bit over here, uh, which I'll explore another time, but that's pretty much most of it. So we'll be back for more Bloodstained Ritual of the Night next time. Thanks for watching.